Russell's is a gourmet sandwich shop and bakery that serves as a one-stop shop for breakfast, lunch, and sweets on the city's North Shore. Joining us now is in our 40, Studio 41 kitchen to share with you how you can make their Texas-style chili right at home is culinary director Todd Stein. And Todd, I uh, first thing I want to ask, of course, as you're waiting uh, to prepare this wonderful chili, Tell us a little bit more about your apron there because it just, it screams, please ask me this question. Add beans if you, if want, you want to ruin, ruin it. it. Exactly. So no beans. So these beans, uh -huh. boop, right in the garbage. Okay. Texas chili doesn't have, need, want, desire beans at all. I got oh. you. It's a bowl of red. You know what I'm gonna say? Uh, yeah. Treat it the same way candy corn. Exactly, awesome. right in the garbage. Right. I, I, two things that you just don't need in life. No. Oh goodness, I'm between two chili connoisseurs. Yeah. I just want something that's you good, just, hearty, and just, healthy. A bowl of chili. Okay, All right. fantastic. So ch to me, chili is one of those things that's really personal preferences we were talking about. We yep. don't like beans, it doesn't belong there. Um, I don't shame you if you do. If you want pasta in it, Cincinnati style, so be it, but that's not how I'll, you okay. I'll, I'll shame you. You okay. can go ahead though, man. Okay, okay. so anyways, chili's one of those things that takes a little while, so we're gonna get going really quickly here. Mm -hmm. Add some oil to a pan, oh obviously boy. nice and hot. Okay. We add onions and garlic because that's where all the flavor begins, mm -hmm. right? Just gonna let that cook real quick. Yep. Then we add our ground beef. We use ground chuck because it's got a nice content of fat to it, okay. right? That's excellent. Now, for people who are watching at home and say to themselves, I want to avoid a lot of the spice, walk us through how spicy this chili can be getting. Well, we start at a medium spice level. Okay, all right. We have a beautiful spice mix here. It's got herbs, oregano, chili powder, cayenne, a little bit of everything. Okay. Um, we had a little bit of uh, masa, which is cornmeal, to help thicken it, right? Okay. So we let that cook. Then uh, we add a little uh, vinegar. It, vinegar? Yep, yeah, that helps temper the heat a little bit. Gives a little acid to the fat and the meat. And then we have beef stock and chipotle peppers, and that's oh, where we get that nice, that smoky, spice. mm -hmm. spicy flavor. And then, the best ingredient, mm -mm. a little coffee. So if you're coffee. making this in the morning because you want it in the afternoon and evening, coffee, a little coffee. Huh? And drink it along Ooh. the way too. I like the sip. way you think, my right? friend. So this cooks for uh, about three hours. Um, and obviously, we fast forward a little bit here. We have three hours, and okay. we have some that's done for you. Okay. We, we um, love the magic television. By the way, yes. what does the coffee do for the flavor? Can you describe sort rich. of rich and rich? Okay. It, that and the chipotles together are this amazing combination of flavor that's smoky and sweet and rich. Uh, and it just gives it a level of depth that you, know, you don't notice it, but mm -hmm. you're like, hmm, that's really good. All right, so is the chili something that's strictly for the fall, or is this a year we round? We have this year round. Okay. It's great for catering. We cater large events. Mm -hmm. Thanksgiving's coming up, but what do you want to do after Thanksgiving? Not eat turkey. Mm, Sunday right. football, right? Um, oh, so, wow. That's delicious. Yeah. And can we talk about just the comfort level of this yeah. comfort food this time of year? Well, just amazing. To me, it's getting cold, yeah. finally, right? We're actually having fall. We're going to have winter. It's soothing. It's warm. It's comforting. You make a big pot of chili or buy a big pot of chili from us, it lasts, right? Mm. It tastes better and better as the days oh, go Oh, so you can buy it by the pot? Yeah. By the, well, we'll sell it by the gallon. Oh, by the gallon. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. So you also, your gourmet sandwich shop, mm -hmm. so you have more than just chili. Oh, yeah. Talk about what else so, is on the menu. In addition to chili, mm -hmm. uh, we have a variety of sandwiches. We have 16 sandwiches on our menu currently. They're all available in large format. Um, we have a turkey, we have a corned beef, our Uncle Billy, um, and, and a, a ham and roast beef sandwich here too. Obviously, you gotta have sweets. We have a full uh, scale bakery. Oh, right? that's awesome. Uh, treats, cakes, uh, you name it, we do it. And we have ice cream. Can't go wrong we make with all that. our ice cream in house, and and you have the coffee with the ice cream, right? Well, and the chili, yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah, a lot yeah. going on there. Yeah, but yeah. anyways, Rice Krispie treats, cookies, bars, all that. How do you like your chili? Onions, cheese, sour cream? Whenever available. Great, I got you. <laughs> I'm driving, so you're here. Okay, <laughs> that's right. outstanding. Yeah, yeah. Well, this sounds like a lot of fun. So this is more like a cafe. If you want to come yes. in after for more lunch, like a diner we do deli. dinner yeah. um, situation. So uh, we are open for um, lunch and into the early evening, but not for dinner service. Mm -hmm. um, in dinner service, we have another feature, um, which we can come back and talk about at a different time, which is uh, pizza by Sal. Oh, right, because so, there are several restaurants in the, uh, in the family. Yes, so we have two steakhouses on the North Shore, one in Lake Forest and one in Wilmette called mm -hmm. Sophia Steak. Mm -hmm. We have a uh, French bistro in downtown Winnetka called Pomeroy. Then if you come into the city, because we have to have the best of both worlds, uh, we have Gemini, uh, which was our first restaurant in Lincoln Park. We just opened an Italian restaurant across the street from there called Tanucci's. 
uh, Old Pueblo if you like tacos, and then just a little further north, uh, a more newer Italian restaurant um, called Cota del Bombe. Oh. Lots going on. It's very nice. Do Keeps me busy. Yeah, yeah, it does. Do you often get into a debate with folks that you had to have this apron made? Uh, yeah. Because yes. there are people that don't know the right way, and they uh, like their beans because that's just what they grew up in. I think a lot of it is how you grew up and how you ate chili. And, okay. And, yeah, we talk about it all the time. All right. And, you know, I know we're coming close to wrapping. Uh, yeah. We talked about a bunch of chilies. Let's talk about Cincinnati chili and yes. Milwaukee chili. Good or bad putting noodles in the chili? I don't believe in it. Okay. Um, then, you, then it's a pasta dish. It's pasta with chili. Thank right? you. Right? I don't think you need it at all. But, hey, if you like it, have at it, man. I'm not going to argue with that. I've had this with so many people. Yeah. Yeah. It's just mediocre pasta, yeah. you know, mediocre yeah. spaghetti. Usually overcooked, Yeah. right, because it sits in the hot chili. I got gotcha. you. Yes. All right. Okay, thing. we're going to end this debate right about there. Uh, thank you so much for coming Thanks in. For Here's the me. information for Buck Russell's. It's over on in Wilmette. Uh, there's the social media handles as well as the website. Check them out. I will say this is delicious and is the right amount of spice. Right. I, I didn't need to go there. running for no. the, um, the glass of milk, though. But if you want, you know, we always have crystal hot Oh, no, thank too. you. I'll pass on that one. <laughs> All right, thanks so much.